reason why I started this class is because I want to better my life for us, the understanding of education for my grandkids, basically for them. And it's needed nowadays, you know, usually you can get a job and stuff, you know, you don't have to have education, you just know somebody in there. But I want it for myself, you know, uh, the little simple things. And then another thing, uh, I'm, I'm, like I said, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but I believe that you can do all things, and I'm a Christian, and I know I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. So I, I just wanted it. I wanted to do it, and I had made my mind up, and I was determined, and and I just kept going, and and it was just for now. It was the season of now, and I, I got to do this now. If I wait any longer, I'm going to keep putting it off, putting it off, so I just knew it was now, to do it now. My children, um, just wanting better for, for them, wanting to break generational curses for them. I am a single mother of five, and my children, my tribe, <laughs> and just, I think I realized I needed to do something different when I saw the effect it had on my children, just with their learning challenges. You know, I wanted to be able to help my children with homework. I wanted to, you know, be able to, you know, tell them what college to go to, which I didn't have those things. I didn't have those tools. I was missing something. And because it was so normal for my family, um, because they did not graduate or continue, um, it was just normal for us to just adapt. I did not want that for them. And um, so I had a talk with them and they agreed that we were a tribe and we were gonna accomplish this together. And they have been more than supportive. Um, <laughs> gosh, my 17 year old helps me with homework occasionally. So, you know, um, and then also he tells me all the time that I motivate and inspire him, you know, and. He's a, a honorable student, so that means a lot to me uh, to have that type of respect from them and from him. I had an unfulfilling in my life about my education. Um, me growing up, being you know, in a household of siblings with you know two sisters and one and one brother, me being the youngest, you know, we all again we all finished high school, but we never did get that secondary education as far as going to college. Nobody have accomplished that. Yeah, um, in my family, we wanted to, but never, had, you know, never strive for to get that basically. And even as a young child, I always wanted to go to college. That was always been some of my heart. It's always been something that you know I always wanted to pursue. But you know, again, life sometimes steers you in different directions. And 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 you know, sadly to say that you know I kind of lost that vision growing up. You know. But um, you know, as I got older and I grew up, you know, um, you know, I always, again, I always wanted to, to uh, you know, perceive that, you know, say, hey, you know what, I need to go to some type of learning center or some type of program where I can brush up on my academics so that you know I, my GPA level can be up so I can go to college. You know, um, I kind of tried that a couple of times. Um, yeah, I failed. It, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't successful. Um, uh, I got with a couple of, you know, tutors and, you know, it's just, they wasn't giving me the, the proper tools that I need to really learn my subjects that I really want to, to really gain interest for me to continue to keep doing it. So I kind of like, you know, you know, kind of lost passion and want to do that. So I kind of stopped, you know, and um, until I met Miss Karen and everything, you know, and um, I explained to her, told me about, about my situation and my background and how, like I said, you know, this has been something that you know, I've long even wanted to do. I just, I just haven't found the right proper resources or the right people to really help me out. And, you know, she being a great teacher as she is, you know, um, she really took the time to figure out what, you know what I'm saying, you know, my background, what I wanted out of, out of the program, um, what my goals were, what I'm looking for towards the future. And since, you know, I told her all that, she was able to map out a plan, you know what I'm saying, for my studies, you know, to bring me back to where I need to be. I 
feel very much empowered. I feel, um, I feel like I can accomplish anything that I put my mind to, that there's no limitations, no age cutoffs. Um, as long as you have air in your lungs, you can keep setting your own boundaries and goals. The confidence, I know I could do it if I put my mind to it. Whatever you want to do in life, if you put your mind to it and make it a number one priority for you to get what you need in your life, you can do it. And I, once I put my mind to it, and I've been going, and I've been fighting myself Every time I say, oh, I'm tired. No, nope, you ain't tired. Keep going. <laughs> so I have to overcome the fear of not pressing my way and keep going. And now it's like, oh, it's like I'm determined. I'm persuaded. I know I need my education. So. Uh, I feel great. I feel great. Um, very promising. Um, of a life, you know, as far as future, as far as me wanting to continue at secondary education and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. It, it really brought me to a point where that, you know, I feel great about myself. Um, um, I, I really feel proud of myself. And, and I feel like I can really go far, <laughs> you know, because but then I didn't, I didn't have that vision in myself for that, but now I do. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> I have to overcome the fear of just uh, stepping out on faith and believe I can do this. It wasn't hard to overcome it because I had made my mind up like a, uh, two years before I signed up for the class. And I just kept saying it to myself, in 2013, I'm going to start this class. I kept saying I kept saying it. And when it, the opportunity came, I just signed up and I've been here ever since. I would have to say math. Um, math was, was one of my, you know, weakest subjects of me learning to a point where, you know, again, I was afraid. I was afraid to go back and to continue that before the fact is because it was so frustrating. I, I really didn't understand it because, again, I wasn't getting the proper tools to, to really know how to understand, to learn from it. But, um, you know, again, you know, as I got with the program, I got with Miss Karen and she, and she showed me the proper tools of learning math and everything and how to make it easier for the understanding of it. Um, again, I'm just, I'm just great. <laughs> I, I, I took that courage, that initiative to go ahead, you know what I said, you know what, I'm gonna fight this fear. I'm gonna go ahead and learn this math no matter what, you know what I'm saying, especially with the help of Ms. Kern. And, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm making great achievements in, in my math level. So I'm just, that was great for me to overcome that, my fear of that. Time management. <laughs> Um, I have a nice size family, so uh, time management is definitely one of the challenges. Um, deaths, uh, I, I had a lot of family members all die in a matter of two months. Uh, so those were very challenging, just trying to stay out of falling into a depression stage. But I can truly say that my team, uh, my teacher, they were all very mindful, helpful, and just kept me going, encouraged me to keep going, to keep pushing. And I couldn't let them down, so kept pushing. Go for it, no matter what. Cut off all the naysayers, cut off all the haters. Go for it, because that's something you need. And I would tell the person, even if they not if they in school, stay in school. <laughs> because once you get out of school, this is something you got to go through, and it ain't easy. Because you have when you when you become adult, you have other things, other priorities, and especially if you got grandkids and your daughter and this and that and that, it's a lot of distractions there. But I would encourage anyone, anybody in the world, to get your education while you can. And even if you don't get it when you're young, when you get older, it's a bigger challenge. But go for it. Get it. You need it. <laughs> I would tell them to go for it. Um, definitely, definitely do it. 
even if it's just five minutes out of your day, if you could set five minutes aside, you could change your whole life. Um, if the bed you make originally, you don't like it, get out of it and remake it. That's what I'm telling you. Man, my, my advice to them is like, it's never too late. Like, it, it doesn't make a difference what your background is. It doesn't make a difference what your situation is. It doesn't make a difference what your outcome is. It's never too late to, to take a hold of your education, you know. Um, it's, it's even my family, you know, they always, I got cousins and, you know, other cousins that, you know, went to school and went to college and got, you know, degrees and bachelor's and master's degrees. and. And they already pride in themselves. They already tell us education is very important, and that's something that something nobody can take from you once you obtain it. And and again, me myself, that you know, I, you know, I have goals. You know, I, you know, I, I want nice stuff in life. You know, what I'm saying I want a family, I want a wife, kids. You know, what I'm saying, and and I want to build life not for myself, but for, for them. Once I get that, and once I obtain that, and I and I, I feel that you know, education will help get there so you know again you know i feel that you know make that a priority because it's very important to have in your life you know and i know people make excuses well i got i gotta get i gotta work you know i gotta keep a job i don't got time for that i don't got time i'm gonna be honest with you you know we can make the excuses all in the world but when it comes down to it you know everybody make time for something that they want to do <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With it's personal or business, you know what I'm saying? They make time for anything but what really needs to be. And you can make excuses, but if you really want it, if it's a priority, if it's a goal in your life, I feel that you will make the time. You know, just like I did. You know, I made excuses all my life, but I realized that, you know, this is something important to me, so regardless, I'm going to make the time. <laughs> so, so I, that's that's my message to them. To it's never too late, and just make it a priority in your life to do it, because you you really need education in your life. So. First of all, I'm gonna take a vacation, <laughs> and I'm gonna rest. Oh, I'm definitely going to school. I have my own cleaning company, my little business going. And I want to take up some years, of, of like maybe a year or something in business, and just get the basic stuff I need to know how to write uh, proposals and different things, and just get the knowledge that I need. So, or either I'm hoping that I meet the number one guy in my life. Uh, but if, if that don't ever happen, I'm hoping for it. But that's my goal, just to travel and do things in the ministry uh, to become the teacher. I teach in Sunday, I teach in church, but I want to uh, be effective in it a little bit more. And uh, plus I write, I'm a writer, and I want to continue in that. Oh, I just want to just live, live, have fun. <laughs> oh man, my, my future holds bright in a lot of things. Um, you know, again, definitely going back to college. You know, definitely. Um, uh, I like computers, so I was kind of looking at something like toward IT networking and stuff like that. Um, since I'm getting good at math, <laughs> so I figured that's not gonna stop me. So you know, um, but yeah, yeah, something like that. You know, maybe a teacher. I know Miss Karen said that. You know, you, you, I might be. I got a little strong background in teaching, so she was like, you don't put your, you know, don't turn away from that. So that might be something too as well. You know, who knows? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, it's, it's, you know, the sky's the limit of my journey past this point once I, you know what I'm saying, once I get through this, um, I just, I'm just going to just go wherever it leads me, where it takes me, you know? <laughs> so, uh, a little insight on me. I grew up um, not very confident. Uh, I was always told that I wouldn't accomplish anything because I had a mother who was a drug addict and that I couldn't be anything more than what she became and sorry guys i honestly believed that 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 was true and for years i didn't try because i, I thought i was destined to be that way 
and I had tried the program before and I just it didn't, it didn't resonate it did not help and my children were getting older and I just I knew that there was something missing and I I attempted again and that's when I realized you know this is the time and I met Miss Karen and I knew that I had a team a support team that was gonna get me where I needed to be and it's not been an easy task but um I'm here <laughs> one subject away from actually being completed but um yeah it, it's it was it was that and the knowing of my daughter had the similar issue you know I just I wanted her to know that she could accomplish anything so that's what pushed me to to keep going that's what pushed me to to just not give up I want to go to nursing school I want to uh, the goal is to go to nursing school to be a cosmetic nurse I want to help girls like myself um, gentlemen whomever I just want people to feel good about themselves I want them to be able to look in the mirror and appreciate who they are inside as well as outside so that's my goal <laughs>